Hey everyone and happy Easter. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Dylan and we have a massive update from Donald J. Trump that we're going to share with you guys. So please thumbs up the video to help spread this to the YouTube stratosphere so more people can see it. Comment below. Happy Easter. Comment below Donald John Trump. Let's talk with each other in the comments. Let's you know, celebrate this amazing community that we have. I'm super excited to be here with you guys, and I just got back from uh, walking around the harbor. I got coffee <laughs> and uh, went, hung out with my family, and now I'm back at home, and I think we're gonna have a little uh, cookout soon too. But yeah, guys, hope you guys are well. Before we jump in, we're gonna be reading from the Bible. Let's pray. Let's listen to the Word of God. Come and amen if you like the Bible verses and if you think we need more of them. <laughs> Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Who forgives all your iniquity, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit, who crowns you with steadfast love and mercy, who satisfies you with good so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. Can I get an amen right there, my friends? Thank you so much for coming by. By the way, I now have a podcast. This is a secret that I am <laughs> revealing to you guys that I created a podcast now and I am uh, sharing a lot on there. So uh, if you want to go and watch the podcast, I will have the link below. And um, yeah, you can get signed up and listen to my very first episode where I talk about a lot of things that I'm not talking about here on YouTube. So uh, go click the link below for the podcast if you'd like to listen in. And now let's get started. Okay, so Donald J. Trump came out came out this morning um, <laughs> with a huge message to America. And there were, Donald Trump actually went to the UFC last night, which if you don't know what that is, it is a fighting match. And the crowd was chanting USA as Donald Trump went to the stadium. There were tens of thousands of people there. I've been to UFC match. It's absolutely, I mean, it's MMA, mixed martial arts. These are the best fighters in the world competing. Donald Trump's friends with Dana White. Look at this footage, guys. US President Donald Trump has attended the UFC in Florida days after he was formally indicted in New York. That's him with Dana White, the president of the UFC. Payments. Mr. Trump was seen waving and pumping his fist at the crowd as the crowd chanted USA at the event in Miami. The former leader was flanked. You can just see how many people support this man. Um, at the state, at the state, at, at the, the stadium. event in Miami, the former leader was flanked by singer Kid Rock and former boxing champion Mike Tyson. At the he's USA. hanging out with Mike Tyson and Kid Rock. Pleaded not guilty to 34 felony charges. Yeah, he's out in public. Everybody's standing for him. Business records. He he's got it. Getting a standing ovation. People are shaking his hand. People are, you know, no. Who would Joe Biden go go to one of those events and? and actually people stand up and shake his hand. I mean, this is this is absolutely really cool. And I wanna show you one more clip and then we're gonna get into Trump's message. Uh, look at this, this was actually a clip from another YouTuber who was there. But they're all like, everybody's so excited that Trump is there. Look at this. They're like, no way, no way. And then you can see, Donald Trump's walking up. They're like, get out of the way, get out of the way. Look at this. Look how awesome. There he is, Donald John Trump. They're all freaking out. Trump's shaking hands with everybody. And it's, uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful event. Everybody's like cheering, stands up, shakes his hand. And uh, yeah, it was uh, such a cool event. Um, so Donald J. Trump came out and gave a happy Easter message to everybody. He said, happy Easter to all, including those that dream endlessly of destroying our country because they are incapable of dreaming about anything else. They, those that are so incompetent that they don't realize that having a border and powerful wall is a good thing. Um, what else? He, he said, he basically said, remember, we will be back. And then he um, 
It's kind of like Arnold Schwarzenegger. We will be back. You know when Schwarzenegger walks out, he goes, I'll be back. That's what Trump's basically doing. He goes, we will make America great again. Um, and sadly, a lot of Americans don't even know what it's like to live in a great country because they're too young or they're, you know, we, we have very short-term memory as Americans, as humans, rather, in the Western world. And then he also talked about how he, he, he just sent a message out about an hour ago. He goes, can you believe that the Biden administration is trying to blame Trump for their incompetent exit from Afghanistan? They are the worst in history, absolutely terrible people, always blaming someone else for their mistakes and blunders, of which there are many. Um, so yeah, that was Donald Trump's message today. Um, I wanted to also share with you guys what Donald Trump Jr. said. He, um, he also had a message with Easter as well this morning. Um, and... Yeah, a lot of people are, you know, saying Happy Easter. They're saying, talking about this future for America. Donald Trump calls for uh, futuristic freedom cities. It, uh, Donald Trump wants to create a new foundation for America. He, he called for a, quote, quantum leap in the American standard of living. Trump's plan calls for holding a contest to design and create up to 10 new freedom cities built from the ground up on federal land. So all basically land that's unused, Trump wants to expand and create new freedom cities. It proposes an investment in the development of vertical takeoff and landing vehicles, the creation of hives of industry, sparked by cutting off imports from China and a population surge sparked by baby bonuses to encourage would-be parents to get on with procreation, basically giving money to people to have babies again. Because I believe we're in a population shortage or like, I believe we're in a baby, like people are waiting longer and longer to get married. People are waiting longer and longer to have babies. And if we go at this rate, like I believe the human race will be extinct um, within like not that long. It, it, so it, it would be good. So basically we need people to have more babies. Um, Trump said past generations of Americans pursued big dreams and daring projects that once seemed absolutely impossible. They pushed across an unsettled continent and built new cities in the wild frontier. They transferred American life with the interstate highway system, magnificent it was, and they launched a vast network of satellites in orbit all around the earth. But today our country has lost its boldness. Under my leadership, we will get it back in a very big way. If you look at just three years ago, what we were doing was unthinkable, how good it was, how great it was for our country. Our objective will be a quantum leap in the American standard of living, Trump said. So very, very cool things. Uh, plans that Donald Trump wants to do. So there is a lot of articles that came out this morning about Donald Trump's blistering Easter message. And Melania Trump has now broken her silence after the arrest. So if you didn't know, Melania Trump did not go to Trump's arraignment in New York. She did not go. She stayed back in Mar-a-Lago apparently, or back in Florida. And then when Trump gave his speech after his arrest, when you know NBC News was, they were uh, waiting all day for Trump to speak after his arraignment, Trump finally went out and started speaking, and then what did they do? They cut him off. They were like, oh, well, well, we're not gonna play it. We're not gonna play it. I'll just uh, show it to you guys really quickly because I thought it was um, absolutely horrendous. Oh, but basically, it? yeah, he starts talking and then, said. here. Cleaning just cut away from Donald Trump's speech post arraignment. Here we go. Lago from our beautiful White House, just as virtually every other president has done in the past. Okay, we've been listening to the former president as he makes remarks at Mar-a-Lago. We initially they cut him off. thinking he was going to talk about the indictment today being charged with 34 felony counts in Manhattan. It has turned into a speech of a list of grievances and, of course, some falsehoods. Uh, the, the notes I have made so far Speechless. talk about an unconstitutional search. Bro, we don't hear about what you have to say, dude. We want to hear Trump speak. And millions of Americans do too. And you're, oh, you know, Trump. Trump's talking about, I mean, they're literally talking while he's silent here, while he's speaking, but they just turn his volume up. And then moving on to these attacks. Again. Like, it's just like, dude, let's let him speak. Let the man speak. That's what people want to hear. Um, Trump has pleaded not guilty to 34 felony counts. Former President Donald Trump was arrested Tuesday and charged with almost three dozen felony counts of falsifying business records related to 2016 hush money payments. And now we have new news that um, Donald Trump may be facing 
Uh, Trump faces maximum sentence of 136 years in prison. Look at this for 34 count indictment. This is headline news. To, uh, when, when was this published? Um, yeah, just a couple days ago. Trump faces maximum sentence of 136 years in prison. Can you imagine that? If convicted of falsifying business records, Trump likely faces far less than 136 year max sentence. Former President Donald John Trump pleaded not guilty in New York City on Tuesday to 34 counts of falsifying business records in the first degree. The charges carry a maximum sentence of 136 years in prison, though the actual sentence will likely be far less than that if he is convicted of any or all accounts. Falsifying business records is typically a misdemeanor charge in New York, but rises to the level of a felony with a maximum four years. I mean, could you imagine Trump facing 136 years in prison? I can imagine it, but he is. Could you imagine Trump being in prison for 136 years? I mean, the dude's already 70, over 70. That means he would have to live to, to be past 210 years old to get out of prison while he's still alive. Donald John Trump, this is a man we need to keep praying for, my friends. We need. This is a man we need to have in our prayer. So Melania Trump, she tweeted, Happy Easter um, with a photo of a pink rose. So Melania Trump is actually now on Twitter, and this is what she sent out today. And I thought that was awesome. A pink rose. Roses are so beautiful. And... Um, it just really breaks my heart that people respond to her tweets with a photo of Donald Trump and Stormy Daniels. It's like, it's so heartbreaking. I feel so sad for, for Melania Trump right now. Um, Melania Trump and Donald Trump, what they're going through, it's, it's heartbreaking. You know, this is really sad for them, really sad to witness them doing this. And a lot of people are saying this is politically motivated i mean this is just such a beautiful couple as you can see here and if you guys want to listen to more news like this you can uh, subscribe to my podcast down below and listen in um i just posted the very first episode so if you want to go listen just um click the link below and it'll take you to there but yeah look how happy they look they just look super super happy and milani is smiling and it's just so sad to see them being in the middle of this controversy and this, you know, I mean, look, look how awesome she was as a first lady. She was just like, she looks so proud, so proud to be up there. And the media just creates their own narrative of, oh, Melania Trump breaks her silence. Melania Trump, this and that. Melania Trump doesn't go. I mean, I wouldn't want to go to Trump's arraignment. I mean, I, I wouldn't, I would, if I was her, if I was in her shoes, you know, it's it's just like heartbreaking stuff, right? It really is. Um, so yeah, Trump did plead not guilty. The charges stem from a hush money payment to adult star Stormy Daniels and another woman named Karen McDougal. Um, the Karen McDougal is a former Playboy model. Both said they had sexual encounters with the married Trump years before he got into politics. Trump denies having sexual liaisons with either women and has denied wrongdoing involving payments. Yeah, these people say that they had sexual relations with him while he was married. Um, so it, it's just... Yeah, one component of the scheme was a $130,000 hush money payment Trump made to adult film actress Stormy Daniels shortly before the election to prevent her from publicizing his sexual encounter with him. Trump's lawyer, Michael Cohen, made the $130,000 payment through a shell corporation he set up and funded at a bank in Manhattan. Manhattan District Alvin Bragg said the scheme is illegal under New York law. And Cohen has since pleaded guilty to making an illegal campaign contribution, serving two years in prison. So this guy, Cohen, served two years in prison. That's crazy. No wonder he's so mad. No wonder he's so upset. Um, so, so Jim Jordan and House Republicans, my friends, they actually did launch a probe into Trump hush money investigation. So House Republicans rallied to the defense of former President Donald Trump before his possible indictment, demanding on Monday that the Manhattan District Attorney who was investigating him turn over documents and come for an interview. They wanted Alvin Bragg to come into Congress, come into the House of Representatives for an interview. 
The Republican chairman of three House committees, including Jim Jordan, sent a letter Monday to Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg, a Democrat, seeking information about his actions in the Trump case, which they characterized as an unprecedented abuse of prosecutorial authority. They requested testimony as well as documents and copies of any communications with the Justice Department. Now, I wanted to share with you guys a video of Trump's lawyers talking about this because I think it is extremely important to hear Trump's side because typically it's sadly not something we really see because we mostly just see the media kind of bashing him, <laughs> which is so sad because we can't even really like hear uh, Trump's side of everything. So I, I wanted to use my platform to show you guys some video footage of Trump's lawyers talking about it. Not, not even, here we go. Um, in this country, you don't expect this to happen um, to somebody who was the president of the United States. Nope. And, this is attorney. Um, on this the is one his hand, lawyer on talking. The one hand, there's not really any surprises. Thumbs um, up, guys. Thumbs I know there up. was a lot of talk over the past several weeks and the past several days about what's guys going thumbs up the video make sure you do that so more people can actually hear like good proper news and make sure you're subscribed and comment do all that in this indictment and it's going to be there that um we don't know there must be something besides what we've been talking about for the past um four or five years there wasn't there's nothing the indictment yeah there was nothing even in the there was nothing even in the indictment that they were like that was different from what they've been talking about for the past four or five years. They've been waiting and they were like, that's what was in there? Itself is, is boilerplate. It doesn't allege um, any federal crime, any state crime that's been violated. It doesn't allege what the false statement is. Um, and it's really disappointing. It's sad. And we're going to fight it. Can you, we're going to fight it hard. By the, the anything in the, were you surprised? Were you surprised by anything in the indictment? No. Uh, but you, uh, they were surprised by nothing in the indictment. And the media's like going crazy. Oh, he's gonna face 136 years in prison. And Trump's lawyer's like, bro, dude, like this thing is like a joke. Like this is the type of news y'all need to hear. This is why y'all need to thumbs up the video, share it. You said that was surprised there were no facts in there. I mean, normally in life you have alleged facts. So they said that this was a false business record entry to incommit another crime without saying what the other crime was. Can you talk about his demeanor? How is he doing? Trump's reaction was. When you say what his reaction, what do you expect his reaction was? I mean, his reaction, his reaction was exactly what would happen if it happened to anybody that I'm looking at now or anybody that's hearing what you're saying. Um, he's, he's frustrated, he's upset, but I'll tell you what, he's motivated, and it's not going to stop him, and it's not going to slow him down, and it's it's exactly what he expected, and so to that extent, there's no surprise. But he's also, he's also, he's also upset and frustrated and disappointed yeah guys i mean you you guys are smart like you guys you guys understand that trump's lawyers are saying like this isn't stopping trump he's not he's still running for president and this thing takes a long time this is a long process and by the way, that includes. Um, first of all, first of all, that picture is not just a swing up baseball. I put a picture of the. I love the lash out. Guys, here's what we're going to talk about today. Here's what we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about the insufficiency of this case. And I will say this to you today's unsealing of this indictment shows that the rule of law died in this country. Because while everyone is not above the law, no one's below it either. And if this man's name was not Donald J. Trump, there is no scenario we'd all be here today. I love this lawyer. That's His name is Takapina. He is a powerhouse. I would love to be. I mean, I, I'm, I think Trump's in really good hands, guys. I really do. Please understand that based on these charges. What are we going to get tonight when he's uh, When? Tonight. Uh, yeah, 8 o'clock. What are we, we going to get? Tune in and you'll hear they, it. They're just like showing how dumb the interviewers are. He's like, they're like, when, when's he going to speak? He's like, 8. What is he going to say? He goes, listen, go listen to it. Like, go do, do your job for once and actually go listen to him speak. I know. Can you? I love this flash out. No. Can you guys talk about? There's a lot of speculation about the unity among defense attorneys. Look at this. Look at us. Is that why you chose to do this? 
Well, we chose to together. come out together. We, we chose. No, we chose true. to come out together so we could. They're trying to gossip about. Oh, you guys aren't friends, right? You guys aren't friends. Or the lawyers aren't friends. And he's like, dude, you guys are dumb. Like, we're literally, we're literally like, we literally are like close. It, they're not. They, what do they need to be best friends? They're literally lawyers. Like, they're working together. The me, the mainstream media guys is an absolute embarrassment when they're asking Trump's lawyers these questions. I mean, they got they got nothing on him. They're like, oh, we heard the lawyers aren't friends with each other. Huh? <laughs> that's like the big. That's that's what they got against Trump. Speak with one voice, but there is no disunity here. That's gossip and it's nonsense. We've been working together and we will be working together. And this, to me, quite frankly, is the best team I've ever worked with the lawyers. Um, I'm honored to be working with these guys. It's because all they do is gossip. They gossip, they go, oh, Melania and Donald Trump must be in shambles, right? You know, Melania hasn't been seen in public. It's like, they, they come up with these conclusions based on assumptions. And the same thing they're doing here. They're like, yeah, because they haven't seen Trump's lawyers hanging out, they must say, oh my gosh, the lawyers are, are not best friends. Oh, they, they have a horrible team. And then it's like the one interview they got, they're like, oh crap, we actually see you guys are like really close and tight. <laughs> like, it's just, a, it's a joke. I, I mean, I don't blame Milani for not wanting to go out in public and get the, her photograph taken. Like, can you imagine Melania going to Trump's arrest? That photograph would last forever. That photograph would be, they would use that Trump and Melania, like they would use that forever, you know? And then she, it's like, why would she want to go out in public with, with this in such a negative, negative situation? So I don't blame her at all. And I think these lawyers are, um, you know, the really powerhouse of a team. And I think it's really good news going forward for Donald Trump's 2024 campaign. So I will keep you all up to date with that, but let me know your thoughts. Comment on this video, your thoughts below. I'd love to hear you. That's why you're here, to give your thoughts and feedback, uh, you, leaving a comment. And again, if you wanna check out my new podcast, you can check it out down below. It's um, just me speaking about new things, uh, stuff I don't talk about here on YouTube. So thank you so much. You can use that, You find that you, via the link below. You guys are the best. Happy Easter. We'll talk to you soon. God bless and have a great, amazing rest of your Easter. Bye now.